Have you ever made a mistake that turned into something actually more wonderful? Yesterday when I was creating that other mandala, which was this one here, I um, made a happy, 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 happy mistake, completely transformed the design, and I um, had dropped alcohol on this and ended up creating these really cool patterns, which are exactly like what I love about epoxy because you can do some really beautiful, beautiful designs and intricate patterns and stuff that the, um, the piece, but there's the patterns, you know, the whole entire picture got doused with alcohol. So, um, when I used to do the, um, and I'll still probably get back into it when I start teaching the classes because I had an inspirational class that I'm thinking about um, doing. I found the place where I could do it at. It'd be like an art therapy class. It'll be a four-week program. We'll meet once a week inside the classroom and stuff. And it'll be a four-week four set. You'll be able to download, which is what I'm going to figure out how to do, how you can take beautiful designs and then download them add the different types of stuff and then where we can meet and talk because one of the biggest um, assets and that I had was um, the classes that I had been taking the last couple of years we had a beautiful um, inside office type where you could go and meet with everybody and watch so this mistake that I had made yesterday I was disappointed initially and then I decided to embrace that mistake and add more you know to it I added the actual painting here with because I have a really great printer to print off small prints and stuff and make it even more of a mistake by adding in the what they call the micro the micro um, alcohol ink that creates a shimmer on the paint painting so you can see on the side here, you can kind of see now it's got that shimmer. It's not on the mat and this particular part of it because this is already really super shiny. You could probably even do a tape and go around it and do a, um, what they would call a, um, a little bit of a, um, two-part epoxy and cover it up if you wanted to kind of do that. I kind of like it the way it is and stuff, but if I wanted to add more in depth or maybe even another layer of, of de you know, depth to the painting or to this particular mandala, I would, you could add that epoxy to it. So sometimes unexpected things can lead to the most beautiful freaking outcomes. And it's a reminder that mistakes are not always a bad thing. And they can lead us to new and exciting possibilities. So next time you're making that mistake, don't forget to embrace it because those mistakes, we you know I made a lot of jewelry when I had my store and I made mistakes and they ended up being my number one seller because they become a one of a kind mandala filled with vibrant colors and intricate patterns. And then you're in being able to enjoy your art because you're coming from a true place of creativity of of the energy of of vibrant color sitting back with this whole situation and going well what else can i do with this whole piece and after the whole alcohol thing and it you know it fell over i clean my um my oil brushes and stuff with after i clean them up and stuff with a little alcohol just to you know give it that nice last part so sometimes when we do that unexpected beauty and creativity comes out of doing something. So if you're wanting to join me on a journey, I'm going to be doing that art therapy classes. It's probably going to be uh, announced in the next day or so, or maybe next week uh, as I start to build what I want to do and then how I can get it downloadable and stuff to everybody. Because if there, you know, people are going to be around the world. You can do and join something, create a beautiful mandala. This is the happy mistake that it was created, but created something absolutely stunning and beautiful. And you could actually, you know, do something 
and put this in your meditative room or in a room that you love to do your own artwork and your own creativity. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to pass this on to some friends and stuff that you have that are friend related. Definitely do that because when we start, when I start the art therapy class online, we'll be able to be able to come together and creating something really, you know, really different because if we turn into something that has a beautiful and sometimes what we consider unexpected, you know, mistake. I wasn't expecting to drop all that stuff on it yesterday with the alcohol. It just spilt over and then created all these really cool patterns. And it, it's got that epoxy look to it, which creates that kind of almost stone, kind of has that look of malachite and other things. It has that malachite look to it. Kind of has a stained glass with a little glitter, which actually creates a puddle of beauty. And it did it with the alcohol. So I added the other, created, put the picture here. So I'm going to show it tomorrow. So take a, take a tune in to the channel tomorrow at 6 o'clock and, um, you know, continue doing stuff. I might, as I said, on the other one, because it's going to be in a different board. Um, but this will be the other design. And I'm just going to copy it exactly the way I did this last time. And just do it straight away. And then make a mistake. But create some unexpected beauty. Because now you can play with it and do some really cool stuff. So don't forget... Pass that on to a couple of friends that probably will love to be able to help and create some beautiful happiness and be able to relax and do some art processes and creating something that's going to be really cool. Maybe you'll do a bunch of Christmas presents for friends this year that will, you know, witness your own magic of turning that mistake into something truly beautiful. Intricate patterns of the mandala well you get the picture you'll get a download of that type of thing so looking forward to chatting with you all tomorrow i'm going to continue today and making this content for the new mandala with this happy creation and stuff i'll be using a board that actually can hold epoxy and this is a da vinci board but you can pick these up over at michael's also there are other places that you can pick these boards up this one holds epoxy in it because i was doing a ton of um, epoxy work and i decided to get into really good oil painting so that's what i'll be working on so i'm gonna um Say thank you again. I am happy that this mandala got created in a happy accident. Beautiful mistake. The art process always keeps us on our toes. And, you know, we're creating beautiful art and there's an art journey. And when I go and do the art therapy stuff, it'll be an art community where we can do, do that really cool, cool stuff with talking and having a safe space. Because when it's not a safe space, people, you know, people don't thrive as artists no matter where we're at. And, you know, it's just time. It's time to do something fun, art related. Don't forget to subscribe and be on the lookout on uh, the channel here for the upcoming art class along with uh, my Instagram, Lisa Marie uh, Pro Artist. And all right, guys, have a fantastic day. I'm really excited about getting started on this particular piece and getting to see what I'm going to do with it and how it's going to turn out with some really cool stuff. And all right.
I think it's this way here. All right. Have a fantastic day, guys. Peace to you. Love. Vibration. It's the best thing on the planet right now to make and create the new earth that we're looking for. All right, guys. Bye.